Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel, Ram's Tutorial Educational Channel. If you are new here to my channel guys, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you are updated in our latest video tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about subject and predicate. When you talk about subject and predicate with your viewers, before we read the definitions, that remember subject is the one spoken in of or the one acted on the sentence. For us, the predicate that tells about what the subject does. Here in our definitions, that says that subject is the part that is being talked about in the sentence. And that is a subject. Okay? Next is what is a predicate? A predicate class that tells about the subject. Remember, our objectives are first to identify the subject and the sentence, second to identify the predicate and the sentence and how it is functions and what are the difference or the differences between the two of these, which is subject and predicate. Again, subject class is the part that is being talked about in the sentence and predicate that tells about the subject. Remember. A sentence class, why we talk about sentence made their viewers or teacher? Because sentence is related to our topic, which is subject and predicate. Sentence has two parts. And what are those two parts? Remember, these two parts made their viewers, which are related to subject and the predicate. And that is how we are going to discuss, and I'm going to show you how to identify the subject and the predicate in each sentence. I have created here four sentences, but I'm going to write continue until 10 sentences so that for you, my dear viewers, you can follow me. And of course, I can help you, of course, with your assignment today. Not only today, but another day. Here we go, my dear viewers. And number one, we have an example phrase. My father comes home. In our sentence here, my dear viewers, remember that my father is our subject. Why? Because this word, my father, is being talked about in the sentence. He is the one acted on. Whereas, comes home is our predicate. It tells about what the subject does. Right? And that is what you call the relationship between the subject and the predicate. Next, we're going to present to our motivation process. And what is a motivation process? Remember, my dear students, motivation process, we're in the process, the need to motivate the students' mind. Why? In order them to understand what is our topic and objectives in this particular lesson. Now, let's present to number one. A friend visits my brother. In this particular sentence, to read a friend is our subject. But remember our, our activity, it shows that direction says underline the subject and box the predicate. Now, we are going to underline the subject, which is a friend. And then we are going to box the predicate, which is visits my brother. This will be our predicate, and this is our subject. Again, let us read it. A friend visits my brother. So from here, visits my brother is what you called our predicate. And a friend is obviously, my dear viewers, this is the subject. Remember, subject is the one acted on, or it is what we call a part of a sentence that is being talked about. Whereas, predicate, it describes something, it describes the subject, or it tells about the subject. Second, let us proceed to number two. Remember? So we have, Betty cares for her feet. Okay, 
we're going to discuss first here is that remember that the word beauty is what we call our what we call subject and cares for hair plates is our radical. Hope you like it, my dear viewers, and please keep on subscribing and, of course, continue watching to our until the end of our discussion today. Third, we have Dina by three oranges. So, from this sentence class, we know that Dina is what we call our subject, and by three oranges is our predicate so again my dear viewers subject uh, uh, talks about or it is the part of the sentence that is talked about whereas a predicate that tells about what the subject does okay is it clear with you my dear viewers or my dear students that remember that subject and predicate is very much important in making our sentences meaningful. Why? Because without this, without the subject, without the predicate, we can't identify or we can't directly say what is all about. Right? By this, by applying subject and predicate, we can create a meaningful sentences. Okay, let us proceed to number four. Chosi plants one tree. So she planted only one tree. And who planted it? We have Chosi's our subject. From here, plants one tree is our pretty. Okay, my dear viewers. Okay, I will give you time to copy first for our one until four discussion about how we are going to identify the subject and the predicate. Okay, we'll give it time. Now I'm back! So we're going to continue with the viewers for our second part. We're going to continue to number 5 until 10. How? Please keep on watching my dear viewers so we're going to reset now so we're going to continue our discussion until 6 to 10 okay so here we need to continue so that you have more exercises today about subject and predicate my dear viewers so we have here number five needs six crayons six we have given let's add inside is room and we don't forget to put a pregnant because sentence it has a punctuation mark which is using a pregnant Okay, we have here a tall number eight, and we're going to continue now. For our number five, we have sentence number five, my dear viewers, that Lino, Lino needs six crayons. Okay, so from here, we know that Lino is our subject. Needs six crayons is our what we call predicate, my dear viewers. Next, we have number seven. K 
given, let's add inside his room. In this sentence says, class, it shows about that given, the one spoken of, or it is being talked about in these sentences. So let's add inside this room is our, what we call predicate. Seven, cooking is relaxing. Okay, cooking is relaxing. Cooking means is our subject. Is relaxing is our, what we call predicate. Excuse me for a while. Okay, let's continue for number eight, my dear viewers. Okay, we have here, for those students, the gym closed last month. So here in the sentences that the gym closed last month, it shows about that we talk about the gym. So therefore, the way the gym is our sentence, or this is what you call part of the sentence, which is the subject. Okay, we're going to underline this way, the gym is our subject and close last month is our predicate okay hope you follow me guys for our discussion today about how we identify subject and predicate next we're going to continue for number nine We have that old man is our neighbor. Then ten to buy it for that. So ten we have. Yes. Okay, that's it. This is our number nine and number ten. Now, guys, for number nine and number ten, I know you have an idea now on how to distinguish or identify between the subject and the predicate. So we have that old man is our never. Never means cap it by. Okay, that old man is automatically our s or the subject it is talk about in this sentence is our never is what we call our put or the predicate it tells about the subject or it describes the subject ten the last number major viewers timmy plays soccer Timmy now is our subject. Please, soccer is our predicate, my dear viewers. It's obviously, my dear students, if you are a newly subscriber to Ron's Tutorial Educational Channel, please don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you're updated, my dear viewers, to you guys that are uh, what we call a channel is still on what you call uh, updating more videos to come okay with your help and with my help of course my dear viewers i'm very much thankful i'm very much thankful with you rather for always watching our video tutorial and now if you have any suggestions please don't forget to write in our comment suggestion box below Again, thank you for spending your time to Ram's Tutorial Educational Channel. Bye-bye and see you next time.